Davri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 10. Now the Pelish team fought against Yashara'el, and the men of Yashara'el fled from before the Pelish team and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Pelish team followed hard after Shaul and after his sons, and the Pelish team slew Eth Yonathan and Eth Aninavadav and Eth Melki Yashua, the sons of Shaul. And the battle went sore against Shaul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Shaul to his armor bearer, Draw your sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Shaul took at the sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Shaul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Shaul died, and his three sons and all his house died together. And when all the men of Yashara'el that were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Shaul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Pelish team came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Pelish team came to strip at the slain, that they found at Shaul and at his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took at his head and at his armor, and sent into the land of the Pelish team round about to carry tidings eth unto their idols and eth to the people. And they put eth his armor in the house of their Elohim, and fastened, rather fastened eth his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Yavish Gilad heard eth all that the Pelish team had done to Shaul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away at the body of Shaul, and at the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Yevesh, and buried them, rather buried their bones, under the oak in Yevesh, and fasted seven days. So Shaul died for his transgression, which he committed against Yahuwah, even against the word of Yahuwah which he did not guard, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of Yahuwah. Therefore he slew him, and turned at the kingdom unto David, the son of Yishai.